Ah, another beautiful day. Oh, I wanted to point out the performance of the Angel Wings on their first few assignments on Earth. All three have done a spectacular job. Now, as you know, Rachel has made a fine wing commander. Her heart is very much in tune with the humans, and that has helped her to deliver the messages. Besides food and drinks, I've got a lot of awards to hand out. But there's one award that the team votes for. Best all-around player. That would be me. Nobody else comes close. Oh, how's the best cousin in the world doing? You talking to me, Margot? Oh, Joey, Joey, Joey! I've always thought you were the best, and you feel the same way about me, right? Uh, if you say so. So, you'll vote for me as the team's best all-around player, then? But I already voted for Rosa. And to prove I'm the best all-around cousin to you, you can play my Mega Womper video game anytime you want, okay? That's the number one video game with multi-zone configurations! <laughs> What did God's message book say again about a person's insides matching the outside? You wash the outside of your cups and dishes, while inside there's nothing but greed and selfishness. First clean the inside of a cup, and then the outside will also be clean. So, how can we get Margot to see that she's like this dirty cup? Hmm, how can we figure this out? There's something we can use. Pretend this cup is like a human, and like a cup, Every human has two sides. The outside? And the inside. And it doesn't matter how nice the outside looks. It's what's on the inside that really matters. I know how to get this message to Margo. Come on, Wings. Lemonade. Get your lemonade here. I'll take one and make it snappy. Say, didn't you just win the best all-around player trophy? Hmm, I guess word is getting around. Then this old paper cup won't do for you. You need something special to drink from. Something fit for a trophy winner. How about this? Perfect. And such a bright, shiny one, too. <laughs> oh, 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 what's all the junk in there? Ew, gross! Uh, I've got a scrape off my tongue! Margo, I've been watching you. The way you've been going around trying to make everyone vote for you by lying. You saw that? Yes, and God's message book says you need to have your insides match your outsides. Like that cup. You look great on the outside, but it doesn't mean a thing if your inside isn't as clean. You know, all afternoon I haven't been feeling all that good. On the inside, I mean. There's one way to cure that. Rosa, you're the one everyone wanted to vote for. This really belongs to you. Margo's right. Go ahead, Rosa. Thanks. It means a lot to me. Yes, Rachel not only loves, but is loved. Then there's Sammy. I've noticed that as Wing Commander, Sammy shows an abundance of curiosity about humans and oftentimes has very good insights into them, which has helped in delivering the messages. spend the whole day with you if that's how long it takes. I promise. You want to come with us? Sure. Um, I'll have to take care of something first, though. Sorry, can't wait. Come on, Rosa. Oh, no, no, wait. I I'll be right back. This other thing isn't really that important. Looks like Carl doesn't plan to keep his promise. Let's review our message for Carl. But I tell you not to swear by anything when you make a promise. Heaven is God's throne, so don't swear by heaven. The earth is God's footstool, so don't swear by the earth. Don't swear by your own head. You cannot make one hair white or black. When you make a promise, say only yes or no. I think it simply means that a yes or no promise is a real promise. But swearing by something is a convenient or conditional promise because it's only a promise if conditions suit the person who made it. Huh? huh? Help me out here, Rachel. You make this into a snowman. And Josh, you make this into a boulder man. There, that 
That's great. Now, think of the snowman and the boulder man as promises. The boulder man is a yes or no promise. The snowman is a conditional promise. They both look good to me. Not for long. I see. The snowman was the conditional promise. Because he could only stick around as long as the conditions were right. When it got hot, he had to melt. But the boulder man is 100% reliable, like a yes or no promise. So Carl's promise to Joey was like the snowman. He only kept it as long as the conditions suited him. And that's what we're gonna help him understand. To the slope, Swings! Okay, okay, I can do this. And Carl said it was easy. Hey, this isn't so bad. <laughs> Whoa! Help. You guys stay with Joey so he doesn't get too scared. I'll handle Carl. Right. Hey, Carl, I'm glad I found you. About your friend. My friend? Oh, yeah, Joey. I almost forgot about him. Forgot? Didn't you promise to spend the whole day with him? Oh, yeah, sort of. But something more fun came along. What's wrong with that? Carl, God wants our promises to be rock solid. I guess my promise to Joey wasn't rock solid? He trusted you to live up to your word, but you didn't. And now he's stuck up on Razor Ridge. Take me to him. I see him! Joey! Oh, Carl, am I glad to see you. Grab my hand. Good. Now, let's pull you up. That's it. That's it. There! Way to go, Carl! Good work! You're safe now, Joey. Think you can follow me down? Will you take it slow? Yes. I promise. Then there's Josh, a strong leader, even though he likes taking shortcuts. <laughs> yes, he really dives in with both wings on all of his assignments and has proven to be a very solid wing commander. Such a good boy. What's the big idea? <laughs> Marco? I'm gonna get you for this. for this! It says in God's message book, don't mistreat someone who has mistreated you. Don't let evil defeat you, but defeat evil with good. That's the message Carl needs to hear. And Josh, I put you in charge. Good is more powerful than evil. So if I were a big, snarling, evil dragon, then fighting me would only make me angrier! Meet thy doom, you lizard of flame! But if someone were to show me kindness instead... Have a beautiful day, Mr. Dragon. Now you're getting the right idea. So, Wing Commander, how do we get Carl to understand all of this? Let's show him what will happen if he doesn't stop. <clears throat> hey, Carl, what's up? Oh, nothing. I wasn't going to broadcast over the whole school. Need any help? What are you talking about? I saw you pick up Margot's diary in the hallway. You did? Oh, don't worry. Your secret's safe. I'll help you get back at Margot. Help me? Oh, yeah. I love revenge. But it's a lot of work. Because once you strike, you have to be ready for a counter-strike. I do? Oh, sure. First, we'll put marbles in her locker. Then she'll retaliate with shaving cream in your book bag. Then we'll put spring snakes in her desk. Then she'll probably put a skunk in your bedroom. No, stop! I have to stop this now. And the only way to defeat it is by doing something good.
So I'd like to present the wing commanders for Angel Wings. Sammy, Rachel, and Josh. Loving, inquisitive, and with strength of leadership, they're ready to deliver a message anytime or anywhere. Good work, Wings.